When the average American thinks of slavery, we more than likely picture the distant memory of the Civil War unit we were taught in junior high. But, unfortunately, slavery still remains a national and global issue to this day, and a product of human trafficking. There are many different kinds of servitude tied to human trafficking, but they all fall into different categories of forced labor. Generally, forced labor can be defined as such, work completed due to a threatening individual or environment without paid compensation. According to the End Slavery Now movement, all forced labor and its subgroups are fueled by no fewer than 20.9 million victims. Those imposing forced labor could be a company, an individual, or even a government. Worldwide, the textile, construction, and prison systems, along with many others, generate massive amounts of workers under threat. There are ways that you can spot the signs and help those in need. Hope for Justice is a nonprofit that has published several lists of what to watch for when you suspect a business or person to be exploiting forced labor means, some of which include no documentation of labor contracts or the necessary employee paperwork, non-existent health and safety standards in the workplace, confining living conditions provided and made mandatory by the employer and often unhygienic and not up to code, and insufficient income for the work being done due to paying for housing, debt, and tools out of pocket. If you come across someone who works under any of these conditions, reach out to law enforcement or a nonprofit working to stop the human trafficking crisis, such as Hope for Justice and End Slavery Now. Thank you.